Hi, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Jim Tumlin. I'm from the University of Tennessee at uh, Chattanooga. And uh, so our poster is looking at a novel uh, type of phosphate binder referred to as PA21. Uh, this is an iron carbonate based uh, phosphate binder that's a new in class uh, type of drug. And our study was to look at five different dosages of PA21 with a head to head comparison to the market leader, which would be Civelomer. And the objective of the study was to look at patients whose phosphates were over five and a half and how many of them achieved a phosphate control between three and a half and five and a half milliequivalents per liter. Now, also looking at side effect profiles and general tolerability of the drug. If we could walk over, I could show you some of the pictures of this. Um, so there was a total of 124 patients that were enrolled in one of five different dosage groups, 1.25, 5, 7.5, 10 and 12.5 grams per day of PA21 compared to 4.8 grams of Sibelomer. And what you could see is that the drug was very well tolerated. This is a list of your typical uh, uh, side effect profiles. What I would point out for your readers uh, that a large number of patients withdrew from the trial because of inappropriately low phosphate. And it really gives you an idea of the potency of this drug which was highly suspected to be a, a very efficacious phosphate binder. So another potential constipation of it being an iron-based uh, phosphate binder was constipation. And you really saw very little signal, very little difficulty with uh, constipation uh, for the PA21 or the Civelomer. But to me, the study is right here. So the efficacy in the light green are those patients uh, that reach the uh, end point of reduction in phosphate. The light, darker green are those that completed all uh, six weeks of the study. And what you can see is the PA21 at 1.25 was basically a placebo, no real effect, but approximately a 1.3 to 1.4 uh, reduction in phosphate in milligrams per deciliter at the 5, the 7.5, at the 10 and 12, the PA21 was actually more effective than the Civelomer. So it showed uh, non-inferiority at 5 and 7.5 grams, but superiority at the 10 and 12.5. So the implications of this is, is that having a new tool that enables us to get to tighter and more uh, important phosphate control, we believe will translate into improved patient survival, uh, reduction for the need for uh, amputations and various types of vascular complications that are inherent in people with uncontrolled hyperphosphatemia.